Hi crafters, it's Hannah from handcraftedcards.com Welcome to today's tutorial. Today we will do, be making a one sheet wonder. So from one um, A4 sheet of cardstock that we are going to stamp ourselves we are going to be able to make all 11 of these cards. So I'm going to show you the template that I use that I've made myself and I'm going to we're going to do the stamping and then we're going to do the cutting um, for each of the cards. Um, well, how we cut down the A4 sheet for each of the cards. And I'll give you some hints and tips along the way about how you can put them to use on your cards. So, let's get started. Okay, so to start a one sheet wonder, excuse me, all you need is to start off with is one sheet of cardstock. And this is an A4 sheet of Whisper White and these measurements will be for an A4 sheet so if you are in the US you might have to fudge your measurements a little bit but it should still be fine. So I've got the Garden in Bloom stamp set. This is a two step stamp set so um, for each of the images you stamp it twice basically. I'm going to start with the big flower. So like I said there's two steps to this. So you've got your outline and then you've got the detail um, the detail one. So I'm going to do those obviously in two colours. So I'm going to go for um, rich raspberry and I've got a few colours here that I want to use all together because I used them on a card just and they looked really nice together. So we'll go with Witch Raspberry and Daffodil Delight first off. So we just stamp all over. with your big flower and turn in your stamp as you go trying not to get it perfectly lined up with each other go off the edge of your page as well Now this stamp does actually have a little guide for when you're stamping the second image so you can get them lined up but I'm not too fussed personally. So you can see that little that little nub in there as I'll call it. That's what you would line up because the detailed one has got the same little thing but personally I'm not bothered so as long as the petals go over the petals roughly, I'm I'm not fussed. So I don't try and line it up exactly. Just because for this particular stamp set anyway, I think it kind of looks I like that it isn't lined up perfectly on this one. Obviously, um it depends on the Images in the stamp set, etc. etc. Whoops, <laughs> that one was a little bit off. <laughs> and there. Okay. Then we will go with the butterfly. So you've got your outline image and then the detail. And then, what's this one? I don't actually know what this one. Oh, this goes on the flower as well, I think. It's funny, I've never actually used this one. How does it go? Oh, that <laughs> though. Yeah, that's for the flower as well. Hmm, I never actually put that on the flower, so let's do that, shall we? 
Um, if we go with maybe with the witch raspberry, just to add a little something. I think it does. Yeah, it does line up. Let's try one and see. Mm, yeah. I might do it for some, not all. So funny, I've had this stamp set how long and I've just realised <laughs> that's what this is for. Let's just do them all. And again, it's got the little guide to line it up, but I'm not trying to do that. And this one. Oh, and that one. Okay, so that's the flower done. So for the butterfly, I'm going with Real Red and Bermuda Bay. Love those colours. So, let's pop that on. So the outline, I'm going to do in Real Red. So now after you've done your big one, you start to fill in some of the gaps, your big, your biggest image. And well, you can see I'm turning the butterfly in all directions because this is going to be cut up later. So you don't know which way around you're going to want it. Okay. So, trying to get most of the bigger white spaces left filled. Okay. Then, Bermuda Bay. Oops. Oh, I like that. I love Bermuda Bay. Oops. So I like a one sheet wonder because <clears throat> you can have so many colour variations. I did one Oh, probably maybe last year I think and I did um, a few um, colour combinations and I had actually done a blog post which is why I'm redoing this because I'd done the video somebody's gone back and watched it and went to the blog post to find all the details but because I'm just changing over my website or some of my blog posts have kind of I've been swapping them over and they've kind of got a little bit lost in translation I think so um, I thought oh well let me do another a new one sheet wonder and then I actually did one um, last week filmed it and everything went to edit it uploaded to my laptop went to edit it and then went to um, get it out of the editing program to put it up on YouTube and it just would not work. I tried it over and over and over and over again and it just did not want to work for me. So this is the second time I'm doing a one sheet wonder. So for some random reason it decided it didn't want to play. So I don't know. So hopefully 
you will actually be seeing this one and it will have worked <laughs> so going in with a smaller flower now just filling in some more of those spaces Yep, and then for the centre of the flowers I'm going to stamp off and then stamp it. I'm just using the same Cajun craze. So the last one sheet wonder I did I actually followed someone else's measurements that I found on Pinterest and they were all right but they were a little bit um there were lots and lots of really small measurements and i thought oh, i can't be doing with this so i sat down yesterday the day before and sketched out a new one for myself um so i haven't actually tried it yet i've got my little sketch over here um so hopefully it'll work <laughs> it'll work Oh. Right, I've got a few more little spaces that I want to fill in and I did, when I did the last one, I had another stamp set, oh which one was it, ah, um, bear with me I'll just go and found it, it was the Born to be Loved stamp set, so just for the rest of those little spaces I'm just going to use that little splotch and I'm going to do that in the real red let's pull it down actually just for any of those gaps that are left whoops and you want to do want to try and make sure your gaps are filled in because like I said you're going to be cutting this up so you don't oh my goodness you don't want a load of white space once the cards are put together uh, and you think of patterned paper you know, the pattern is all over the paper. What is wrong with my stamping today? <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'm going to make sure it's all filled in nicely. And I think I'm happy with that. So, we've basically made our own patterned paper. So you could do just do this with pattern paper, you don't have to make your own at all. But it's just another fun part of doing a one sheet wonder. So I'll move some of these blocks out of the way. And then I'll grab my trimmer. And like I said, I haven't tried this, but it should work. <laughs> So, I'll show you my sketch that I made just with a piece of A4 and I just made some measurements, marked it off and I've written um, which bit's going to go on which card. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So we're going to get 10 cards, hopefully, out of this. Um, but again, you can um, change it up however you want to. I haven't got anything on that one. I've got an extra strip there, so I might add that to one of the others. But anyway, yeah, you can change it up, do whatever you want. So, firstly, you're going to cut across the middle and then cut the, the rest down. So, the first cut is going to be at three and five eighths of an inch. 
which is um, where's my poke tool? So five eight is one. Not ignoring the really really small lines. Let me zoom in. Yeah, focus. Come on. I want you to be able to see this. Oh, come on. Ugh. Seriously, that's the best I can do by the looks of it. So ignoring the tiniest little lines there, you go one, two, three, four, five. So that's five eighths of an inch. Okay, so. I'll just bring it up. I will write the measurements down. How I'll do it, I'll say cut one is such and such a measurement, cut two is such and such, so hopefully that will make sense. So the first cut we're doing now is at three and five eighths of an inch. That doesn't look right. That's not, th oh, see, I nearly made a mistake already. I've written those in the wrong places. <laughs> So it's actually, I've written those the wrong way around. So this is five and three eighths. And this is three and five eighths. <laughs> oh dear. So start that again. So the first cut is five and three eighths. So one, two, three. Okay, so put this to the side for one second, then you're going to turn this 90 degrees and cut at 3 and 5 eighths. So that's card 1. Then you're going to turn this again and cut it at 3 inches. So that's your second card. And then for this one, we're just going to tear it in half. And that's your third card. So, running out of space now. I'll just move these over. So, bringing this one back in, keeping it in the same um, orientation that it was, don't turn it yet. You're going to cut off an inch. Put that over to the side for one second. And then turn this strip and cut three inches off. And then cut at one inch and again at one inch. So you've got three squares of an inch by inch, one inch by one inch, and then you've got your strip there. So bringing this piece up, back in, we need to cut it at, um, what was it, two, oh where's my ruler? Just check this one. It was two and whoops. Just check what this one was. Two and a quarter. Yeah. So this one still in the same orientation that it was. You need to cut two and a quarter. Put that to the side for a second. Turn this and cut it at um, two and a quarter. And then we're going to punch out of that. So you can just put that to the side just there. Then this piece that's left, turn it back this way and cut an inch off. Then three quarters of an inch. And it's a little bit fiddly because it's only a little bit. And then this should be half an inch. Yep. So you've got those three strips. Then this last piece, you're going to put it in, uh, rotate it, sorry, and cut it 
at 3 inches like so and then we're going to cut this on a diagonal but not just in half so basically we're doing this section here so to get this measurement it's an inch wide that way so you're going to put it in your trimmer line it up here and here but then um, uh, what's the word slide it over so your point actually lines up with half an inch so this putting it um, lining up in the cutting track is just to make sure it's kind of straight then just slide it over till you've lined up with half an inch like so oh let me move this down so I'll show you that again lined it up with the cutting track like that and then just slide it to line up with the half an inch mark and then cut and then slide it over the other way so the point again lines up with the half an inch mark see our, this trimmer, the stamping up trimmer, it's got measurements on both sides of the cutting track so if yours have it, hasn't then just flip it around so lining up with the, the cutting track and then sliding it over to the half an inch and cut so this is now an inch uh, wide and that is all the cutting I hope that made sense I will bring all the bits in and show you what we've got so you've got this one Oops like that then this was there oh actually I'll need to do it that way so see me a little bit more there you go so we've got that one there then this here then your three strips well oh, actually four strips really there that bit there the little one inch squares are there that's there then um, there and there so now it's just to decide how you want to put them on your card so like I said I numbered all of them so that's one card that's one card that's one card these three little squares, one card, one, two, three, and I guess four because I hadn't put that anywhere. I hadn't put a number on that. Is one card, one card, one card, and then each of these are one card. So what I'm going to do is see. This is where you decide whether or not you want to just stick it straight down onto the card as it is, or cut a mat for it so if you want a mat say for um, this one this is a three inch square all I would then do is cut a another square that is three quarters by three quarters of an inch and in fact I'll do that now just for that one okay so I just grabbed um, a couple of bits of cardstock so for this one put this on cut Three and three quarters oops by three and three quarters and then that will mat underneath like so so that's what I would do for that one this one I'm going to punch a circle out so I've got a two inch circle and I'm going to try and get that in so for that one I'm just going to have a two inch circle and I would probably put that on a square actually that looks quite cool like that so something like that for these ones I would do mat so they were one inch square 
so I need one and a quarter I'll just cut this off to the side here one and a quarter by one and a quarter and you're going to need that three times so one and a quarter one and a quarter one and a quarter <laughs> and one and a quarter so these are oh, so cute they would go like that uh, this one I would probably just pop that on a piece of card like so so that's that one um, these three four I was thinking to use the uh, triple banner punch and put a banner end in each of those that one will fit in there it's the exact right size for the triple banner punch so you can cut that one this one is too small for it so all you do then is flip it over and then you can line it up so center that up for that one and then the same again for this one just center it up And then this one, actually I might leave that one straight, so um, that's that. And then the rest, I would probably, this one is the size of one of my standard card bases, so that would be as it is. This one, I was going to grab a mat and the measurements for my mats and layers are always in the description so if you click show more they will always be there so i was going to grab a mat so like that and then place it top and bottom and then do some stamping in the middle these three i was just going to layer up together something like that something along those lines and then stamp a sentiment across that one will stay as it is with just a sentiment um, these two I would just just grab this is another layer that I've already embossed this a while ago so I would just pop it in the corner and do some stamping along that edge so that can go for that one this one would just go not on white but on a different colour I would put across quite a bit of a smaller piece but just line up the corner so it will fit going across and then again do some stamping at the top and the bottom that one obviously the same as that one whoops sorry you can't see <laughs> that one but then stamping there and this hasn't got a place so I'd maybe add it to one of these maybe with that something like that so that's what um, I'm going to do so I'm just going to stick them all down based pretty much as I've just explained it and then I will show you how they look once they're all stuck down. So here are all of the cards finished. Let's zoom you out a little bit. Okay so I will try and show you them in order of <laughs> cutting. So that's card number one. I've just stuck it down obviously I would add a sentiment but some of these have added a sentiment and some of them I've just left as they are because this is the kind of thing that I would just have a stack of these um, for when I need a quick card so I haven't put a sentiment on all of them um, but some I have so that's card number one then card number two is this one so I've just added a layer underneath 
card number three is this one so I just added the two strips and then I've stamped in the middle so I punched out that shape and then stamped it so it's just got a little bit of um, something <laughs> um, card number four is this one with the strips so again obviously I would add a sentiment and maybe something else hanging down from uh, or something so that's how that one looks number five is this one I really like this one even though it's just quite simple I really really like it so obviously you could have it that way or that way but I like it that way then number six I've put on a note card so that was just the circle that we punched out on a bit of uh, real red and some pearls and a little bit of stamping at the bottom and number seven was this guy so I'll just put a sentiment straight across there for whatever I needed it for number eight um, was let's see um, this one <laughs> so to do this one I just stuck it down on a piece in the corner of a piece of real red and then trimmed it down to to fit it was just on a bigger piece of real red and then just stamped across there number nine oh, oh yeah oh yeah I had an extra one number nine is that one so that was that one inch strip and I've just stamped either side of it oh actually it's that way <laughs> um so I just stuck it on a piece of whisper white into the corner and then just trimmed it down and then I've just stamped either side number ten was that other um, triangle <laughs> there and then the extra strip that I hadn't actually decided where to put it I've just stuck on the like so and then you would put your sentiment across it that way so that is um, 10 cards and hang on I've got an extra one 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cards yeah because I used that strip I was going to put it with this one but then yeah so that's 11 cards out of um, one A4 sheet of stamping so you could like I said do that with um, designer series paper or using a template so to do this I literally just got a piece of A4 and then just started drawing lines and seeing um, so I started with number one and then obviously you had that line there I thought well if I go three up from there then that gives me that one then I can tear that one then if I say oh have a one inch strip there what can I do with that well I can cut that down like that and so on and so forth so that's how I came up with the template I will try and do a PDF of it somewhere if I manage it because I don't quite know how to do it um, if I figure it out then it will be linked in the description below if not then there will be a photo of it um, for you to have a look at so I'll try and get you that template basically so that is it guys thanks for watching excuse me Jordan and I will see you in the next video bye